I'm taking the next bearing and uh, after that we'll 94 after that we will uh, try to get a first idea of what exactly we're dealing with here 94 Let me uh, delete that first one here. It's gonna have a 45 minute estimate. So, I am thinking this is a colonial crater. A tilted smokestack in the middle. Two tall masts. No, not this one, I think. There is this front structure, it could be a passenger... ...steamer here. Uh, did I forget what a colonial crater looks like? No, it could be this one. No, it could not. There is a superstructure in front of the chimney. So it is probably a... Uh, no, I don't think it's this one. There is no mast in the middle. Probably a passenger steamer that we're dealing with here. Very likely. Nope, not a problem. Let's see what our watch officer thinks. I don't really feel like... Setting the pages back. Huh. Interesting, I wouldn't have guessed this one. But I guess. Oh, I was going to have to take the next bearing. Well, I guess. I really wouldn't have guessed this one. Looks flatter to me, anyway. Big next bearing. Uh, to uh, 104 degrees. Uh, 
There's more than one ship. Why are we still measuring the same? I can only see this one. Okay. I'm a bit confused because this is a much shorter distance than we had over here. Mm. Anyway, this uh, should give us an average speed for the last 45 minutes. 8.8. .8. Six and a half, maybe. Nine. No. Yeah, maybe. Six and a half. Okay, I'll uh, get back to you once we get closer. Again, I'm gonna... Take up an attacking position, probably. Where's the moon? The moon is to our southwest. Well, and then I'll take up an attacking position here southwest of, of, the, of the target's track. We'll cut in and then stay on the other side in order to have the moonlight in our back. So that should help. So my crew finally spotted the ship as well. And I have turned in uh, to a perpendicular course because I was, according to my estimation, about 10 kilometers ahead of it. And uh, Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ziel wird identifiziert. Let's see if um Yeah, so I still to about uh have an AOB of twenty right now, so let's slow down a bit. Uh, Jawohl, here. Oh, that's a lot closer than I thought. Well, on the other hand, we tur we did turn in. Oh, well, maybe the track is a bit more northeast of what I plotted originally. Uh, it's probably about 10 degrees now. The weather. Um, I'm curious because Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. No wind. Well, that would not be ideal because a U-boat can still be hurt. But the more wind there is, the less likely. I read that it's. Very, it was very hard, almost impossible for lookouts to spot the U-boat in the vicinity of a, of a ship uh, at night. Unless if, say, the conning tower was wet and moonlight would reflect in it. But other than that, it was almost impossible to spot a, a submarine at night. Our conning tower would be dry because we've been uh, sailing on the surface for 
almost four hours at least. So we're almost at uh, zero degrees AOB. But, uh, I'm steering 226, which is almost perpendicular to its course, so if everything is correct, we should find its uh, zero degree AOB at the relative bearing of 270. I think the nights are modeled a bit too bright here. I mean, I can see, I can distinguish the color of its uh, hull from the color of its uh, superstructure. I think that shouldn't be possible on a dark night in October in the middle of the ocean. But yeah, I think this is pretty much AOB zero degrees. We'll wait until the mast are in alignment. I think that's it. Let's go with this. Two seventy two roughly. 128. I know. That's uh, 72.68. Okay. Let's dive. And let's get rid of this and this line. This is over here. Uh, I forgot I should have gotten this uh, distance estimation. Probably like five kilometers away. Not less, I think. Anyway, let's set up uh, our attacking position. We could have stayed surface. Get out of the. Get out of the minimum distance here that I want. Uh, the boat is faster on the surface and it also turns faster over here. I think overall the smart thing to do here is to, after you've identified AOB, just bump it back up to full speed ahead, move out of the circle and 
turn in and then die. I think this is fine if you have a lot of time, but uh, now we're a bit a bit closer here. So we'll uh, we'll get a first bearing here in the in the turn when I have to slow down anyway. So right now I can't see above a speed of six, seven knots. Uh, the image in the periscope blurs. So we'll go full speed until we're out of the circle here. And we'll turn to we're in thirty nine. Going down to six knots. Let's see if I can see anything. The uh, scope moves up. That's already good. Uh, he should be. at 167 uh, there is a formula I mean this is very imprecise seven let's wait until we're oh, we're almost turning uh, stop stop stop, stop turning stop turning I want one thirty nine. down. degrees not, not a lot of time but it's okay We're fine 3.7 um I think we should turn in That would be thirty seven minus ninety forty seven. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin, neuer Kurs, vier, sechs. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin, volle Fahrt. Speed up Turn, let's go half. I think the turning circle is narrower. Go uh, ha um, standard ahead. But I would actually have to try it out, so I didn't try it out through this boat. At which uh, speed the turning circle is the narrowest. And um, I'm going to shoot the solo. Of two no matter which ones and uh eight Yeah, 
let's uh, go down to slow, minimal speed, although I think this is uh, quite fast still, it's still at 2 knots, so we might have to see saw back and forth a bit to uh, in order not to get too close. I think I can already see the British flag, so that's good. Can we get a distance estimate? I think we don't have to, we will just uh, use the bearing about 72 degrees. Okay, so that means for him 9 kilometers at uh, six and a half. About 15 minutes. We are traveling two knots in 15 minutes. We'll cover 925 meters. It is too close, so we will go back for a bit. We're already at uh, 950 meters, so we're basically we're colliding with him. I could have continued for another couple of minutes, five minutes or so. But I'm not sure. I mean, his speed is quarter, half an hour. 45 minutes. That's right. Nine point five. I thought we had eight minutes last time. Uh, it's close to. Close to seven knots, and it's possible it's fast. So it's six point five. Bearing up here. Sixty eight.
We'll wait another minute and then I'll go ahead low. So we should close up to around five, six hundred meters to him. That is a very good shooting distance. I just hope it's not a Soviet ship, but uh, I'm pretty sure it isn't. Kind of close here. Okay, let's go ahead now. So 6.8, I usually uh, set the, the depth to a meter and a half deeper than the, the draft. So that would be 7.8, uh, 8.3. Kind of hard to do, but uh, should be good. E He's okay, we'll take a measurement here with the, with the stopwatch. Once he crosses about 30 to 25 degrees as a bearing. Fifty-eight. Uh, quickly plot this. Okay. One point seven. No less than ten minutes. Should be ahead of us. Yeah, that's the British flag. So, um, we were, I just uh, briefly talked about um, how I think the nights are too bright. Another thing is in the manual, the uh, Commandant Nampu said uh, you shouldn't use the the six times or the 6.5 times magnification and that is uh, technically accurate because at night that is because uh, the, the higher the magnification the smaller the amount of light that gets into the uh, whatever optical instrument you're using be it a telescope or a periscope or a binocular a pair of binoculars anything it's uh, just a a natural property of this type of optics. You can't have both magnification and be collecting a lot of light with the lens and that's essentially the bigger the light, the bigger the diameter I'm sorry, the bigger the diameter of a lens, the, the more light it catches and the brighter the image will be that you see so And this and here in the game we see that it's actually the opposite. When I zoom out I see less basically. It's different when I get close to the water, it has a weird effect somehow. But actually I would see the picture would be a lot darker in the magnification than in the 
in the non-magnified uh, view. Try it out sometimes if you can compare to say two binoculars that have different uh, magnifications. After the disaster in uh, in the Baltic Sea, where the rush attack failed to uh, sink anything, I hope that this time we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. We still have some room here to maneuver. That's good. Get another bearing and see. Forty-six. Sorry, that's the wrong button. Forty-six. Good. Getting there. 900 meters. We'll take a speed measurement uh, at 30, the first one. I think it's a pretty short chip, yeah, just uh, under 80 meters. That's the problem when the ships are long and you... Well, there are two problems. One problem is that the further out you measure, when you're not perpendicular to the ship, you will always overestimate its speed. And when you... Um, when you're too close, the longer the ship is, the faster it'll pass through. Um, not that no, it won't pass faster, but uh, the sooner it will reach zero degrees, which is um, where you want to be shooting. So, and I haven't uh, worked out yet how, because basically the, the torpedoes should. Uh, the torpedo computer should um, adjust the angle if the target passes, but uh, as we've seen I haven't yet mastered this method. But, uh, in the uh, first, uh, in the second episode, I think um, I've missed a couple of shots. And I was too close, and I was trying to um, attack along. Um, I think it was a passenger steamer. Okay, so do it at 25. Uh, also, this number that we're going to come up with here is going to be too big. The speed will be overestimated. But that's, uh, that's okay. I think it's pretty fast, though. Twenty four twenty four at seventy Yeah, six and a half. Good. Okay, so now we'll it's the distance, we just have to adjust the distance. Five, six, seven hundred, yeah. Go with seven hundred. We should be okay. We have to 
decrease the angle here. I think. I'm not sure. what this does. We finally managed to Look like he saw anything like he's turning. Oh, the time has passed again. Going on. I would really like to know what happened here. It was a perfectly lined up shot. You overestimate the speed. Where they dot. I have no idea. First of all, we have to... Reload. And we'll have to attack again. Um, I'll get back to you when I set up a new attacking position. <laughs> 